but I'd like to welcome you all here to the Grade 6 Spelling Bee. <coughs> There's been a lot of effort on these young people's parts. Um, they are the winners of their classroom, their grade, and that's why they're here for the finals. Um, you're in a building that's over 140 years old, lots of tradition here, and uh, we're pleased to have you here for this day in history. You become part of history with us. Uh, your moderator is Ms. Kelly Jones. She's our bilingual department director in the city of Brockton. And uh, when she steps up to the podium, I'm going to have you stand and introduce yourself and say the name of your school. Okay? Our judges, uh, Ms. James Cornell, Mr. Kevin O'Connell, and Mayor Carpenter. I'm just going to run and get there. <coughs> Okay, good morning everyone. I'm going to review quickly the rules. I've reviewed them with the, the champions here. So the rules are that um, I'm going to um, say the word and the contestant is instructed to repeat the word, spell the word, repeat the word. Before spelling, the teacher, uh, the, the contestant may ask to define it or use it into a sentence. Uh, we have our judges available, Mayor Carpenter is here, to provide dif dictionary definitions as needed. Um, once you spell the word the second time, you have closed your, your um, spelling. Upon misspelling the word, the contestants you will drop out of the contest, and the same word will go to the next person. If all remaining contestants are, are um, stumped by one word, then the, those contestants will return and a new word will be given and will proceed as, as so. And in order to be declared the winner, the last contestant needs to be able to spell the misspelled word and the next word. So let's stand up, turn around, introduce yourself and the school that you represent. I'm Matthew Turco from the Asheville School. And then, uh, I'm Owen Lacar from the Airfield School. I'm Matthew Tome from the Beaver School. I am Jada Gomes from the Beaver School. I'm from Martin Anderson from East Middle School. I'm Amy Fuller from East Middle School. <laughs> I'm Jamie Wright from North Middle School. I'm Lily John Baptiste from the Plus. I am Enoch Yemi from South Middle School. I am Matthew Rivera from North Middle School. I'm Jaylen Evans from Trinity Catholic Academy. I'm Jaylen Evans from Trinity Catholic Academy. So Brockton is the city of champions, and we've got a room full of champions right here. So I'd like us all to give a big round of applause for our great city of champions. Okay, we're going to start with Matthew. You're going to stand for the first word. Nice and loud voice. Okay. So the first word is naturally. Naturally. N-A-T-U-R-A-L. Why? Naturally. Naturally. N A T U R A L. We can I start over? N or naturally. N A T U R A L L Y. Naturally. Correct. Okay. The next word. Treasure. Treasure. T R E A S U R E treasure. The next word estimate. Estimate. E S T I M A T E estimate. Next word. Politely. Um, polite. P O L I T E L Y. Politely. That's correct. Next word, 
Jeopardy. Jeopardy. J E K P O R D Y Jeopardy. That's incorrect. The next word? Jeopardy. Jeopardy. J E O D A R D Y. Jeopardy. The next word? Recently. Recently. R E C E N T L Y. Recently. That's correct. <coughs> the next word? Autumn. Uh, autumn. A U T U M. The next word? Verbally. Verbally. V E R B A L L Y. Verbally. That's correct. The next word? Beagle. Beagle. B E A G L E. Beagle. That is correct. The next word? Purchase. I'm going to say, pronounce that again. Purchase. Purchase. P U R C H A S E. Purchase. That's correct. The next word, wreckage. 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 R E C K A G E. Wreckage. That is incorrect. <coughs> wreckage. Wreckage. W R E C K A G E wreckage. That is correct. Okay, we're gonna start with. So now you're back to the. Do Owen. Owen. Stand up. The next word is balance. Balance. B A L A N C E. Balance. That is correct. The next word is. Gourmet. Gourmet. G U O R M E Y. Gourmet. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. The next, a gourmet. Gourmet. G O U R M E T. Gourmet. That is correct. <coughs> the next word, yardage. Yardage. Mm -hmm. Yardage, Y R Y A R D E G E yardage. That's Julia. Julia. Okay. The next word is antique. Antique. She gets yardage. Oh, that's right. It's yardage. So, yardage. Yardage. Y A R D A G E, yardage. That is correct. Okay, Tamaria. Antique. Antique. A N T I Q U E, antique. The next word <coughs> Frontiersman. Can you pronounce it again? Frontiersman. Frontiersman. F-R-O-N-T-I-E-R-S. Can I start again? Frontiersman. F-R-O-N-T-I-E-R-S-M-A-N. Me. That is correct. The next <coughs> one, Ali. Mistletoe. Mistletoe. M I S T L E T O E. Mistletoe. That is correct. 
Next word, Ina. Alternative. Alternative. A L T E R N A T I V E. Alternative. So, uh, Jamil. Oh, actually, Nestle. Oh, Nestle, I'm sorry, honey. Okay, the next word is quill. Part of the definition is you have to know how to spell it to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I passed that one down the road. <laughs> Quill. A feather, a large stiff feather from the tail of a wing. as a toothpick made from or as from the hollow stem of a feather. Quill. Can you repeat the word? Quill. Quill. Q-U-I-L. Quill. That is incorrect. Okay. Jamil. Uh, families, excuse me for just a minute, uh, Jamil. I'm going to ask you to be sure your phones are off so that it's not distracting to our people. Thank you. Okay. Quill. Quill. Q U I L L. Quill. That is correct. Okay, now we're back to Owen. Wrestling. Wrestling. W R E S T L I N G. Wrestling. That is correct. And this one, Jalia, right? Jada. Jada. I crossed you off my own. Jada. Specialize. Specialize. May I have a sentence, please? Sure. Um, in college, many students choose to specialize in one area of study. Specialize. S P E A C. May I, may I restart? Mm-hmm. Specialize. S-P-E-A-C-I-A-L-I-Z-E. -E. Specialize. That's correct. Okay, so next one is Jalia. Specialize. Specialize. S-P-E-C-I-A-L-I-Z-E. -E. Specialize. That is correct. Okay. So, Tamaria. Jagged. Can you have the word in a sentence? Um. <coughs> knives have a <coughs> jagged edge. Have a definition. Peter, jagged. Jagged. J, J A G G E D. Jagged. That is correct. Ali. The next word is muscle. Muscle. M U S C L E. Muscle. That is correct. The next one is Enoch. The next word is Endurance. Endurance. E N D U R A N C E. Endurance. That is correct. 
Jamil. The next word is fearfully. Fearfully. F E A R F U L L Y. Fearfully. That is correct. Okay, we're back to Owen. We're going to run out of words soon. Okay, <laughs> the next word is luxury. Luxury. L U X. U R Y luxury. That is correct. Uh, Jalia. Your next. Your word is vaguely. <coughs> vaguely. V A G U L L Y. Vaguely. That is incorrect. Okay, so Peter. Oh. Vaguely. V A U G E. May I start again? You may. V A U G E L Y. Vaguely. That's incorrect. Ali. Vaguely. Vaguely. V A G U E L Y. Vaguely. That is correct. Okay. Uh, Enoch. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. E X T R A O R D I N A R Y. Extraordinary. Correct. Jamil. Literate. 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 L I T E. R-A-T-E, literate. That is correct. Okay, we're back to Owen. Rigidly. Rigidly. R-I-G-I-D-L-Y, rigidly. That is correct. Okay, now we're over to Ali. Bronze. Bronze, B-R-O-N-Z-E. Bronze. That is correct. Minnick. Knitted. Knitted. K N I T T E D. Knitted. That is correct. Nathan Jamil. Regionally. Regionally. Oh, I'm sorry. Regional. Regional. I need I need bifocal glasses here. Regional. <laughs> Regional. R E G I O N A L regional. Okay. The next word is diagonal. Diagonal. D I A G O N A L diagonal. Next word, Ali. Gymnasium. Gymnasium. G Y M. N-A-S-I-U-M, gymnasium. That is correct. Yeah. Kerchief. Kerchief. K-E-R-C-H-I-E-F, kerchief. I'm sweating up here. <laughs> okay. The next word, conductor. Conductor. C O N. D U C T O R, conductor. That is correct. Next word. Incomplete. Incomplete. I N C O M P L E T E, incomplete. Okay. Next word. Nastiness. Nastiness. N A S T I. N E S S, nastiness. The next word? Colonial. Colonial. C O L O N I A L, colonial. Okay. Inauguration. <coughs> Inauguration. Can you say it again? Inauguration. Can I get a definition? 
one. ceremony installing a person in office. Act or instance of initiating, condition of being initiated. Inauguration. Inauguration. I N A Can I start over? Mm -hmm. Inauguration. I and A U G U R A T I O N. Perfect. Okay. Owen. Orchestra. Orchestra. Can I have it in a sentence? Sure. Um, the orchestra plays music while the play is, is singing. Orchestra. O-R-C-H-E-S-T-R-A. Orchestra. Okay. The next one. Swimming. Swimming. S-W-I-M-M-I-N-G. Swimming. Hilarious. Hilarious. H I L A R I O U S. Hilarious. Optimistic. Optimistic. O P T I M I S T I C. Optimistic. Okay. Next word. Unscarred. Unscarred. Ye Can I have it in a sentence? Sure. Um, even though the, the man had an ex accident, he was left unscarred. Unscarred. U-N-S-C-A-R-R-E-D. Unscarred. Believe. Believe. B E L I E V E. Believe. Okay, I gotta take my glasses off for this one, make sure I pronounce it correctly. 90th. 90th. N I N E T I E T H. 90th. Unforgettable. Unforgettable. U N F O R G E T T A B L E. Unforgettable. <coughs> Next word oxygen. Oxygen. O X Y G E N. Oxygen. <coughs> We're getting to the last of our list, guys. So, acquaintance. Acquaintance. Can I have your sentence? Sure. Um, I, I. <laughs> I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay. Acquaintance. A Q U A I N T A N. Acquaintance. <coughs> Acquaintance. Acquaintance. A Q Q A I N T A N C E. Acquaintance. Incorrect. Acquaintance. Acquaintance. A C Q U A N T I C E. Acquaintance. Owen? Uh, acquaintance. A C Q. 
Can I start over? Mm -hmm. A C Q U A I N T Can I start over again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Acquaintance A C Q U A N T A N C E Acquaintance uh, So we start all over again with a different word and so that means you're starting with um, the person who wrote a book Ali. 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 Yeah. Okay. Facial. Facial. F A C I A L. Facial. Next word. Lousy. Lousy. L O U S Y. Lousy. Next word. Sleeveless. Sleeveless. S L E V E L E S S. Sleeveless. That's Sleeveless. Sleeveless. S L E E V E L E S S. Sleeveless. Druggist. Druggist. One license to fill prescriptions. Pharmacist. Druggist. Druggist. D R U G I S T. Druggist. Druggist. Every sentence. Sure. Um, a, a pharmacy is sometimes called a druggist. A pharmacist. Sorry. Oh. There you go. Pharmacist. Thank you, Mayor Carpenter. D R U G A C E D. Druggist. That's incorrect. Oh, one. Druggist. Druggist. D R U G. Can I start over? Mm -hmm. D R U G. I C E D druggist. That is incorrect. So now we start all over again. Yeah, but Ali. Ali. A new word. Okay. Partiality. Partiality. P A R T I A L I T Y. Partiality. Yeah. Regular. Regular. R E G U L A R regular. Yes. Okay. Disinfect. Disinfect. D I S I N F. Can I start over? Mm -hmm. Disinfect. D E. Can I start over? Mm -hmm. D I S I N F E C T. Disinfect. Okay, next word, kindling. Kindling. K I N D L I N G, kindling. Next word, receivable. Receivable. R E C E I V A B L E, receivable. Next word. Collage. Collage. C O L L A G E. Collage. Industrious. Industrious. I N D U S T R I O U S. Industrious. Quotient. Quotient. Q 
Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T, quotient. That's correct. Commerce. Commerce. Can I have it in a sentence? Sure. Um, I'm, well, you put me on the spot with the sentences, guys. So, to find information on the city of Brockton, you can go to the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, that's a good one. Can I have the definition? transaction involving the exchanging or buying and selling of commodities or services. Commerce. Commerce. C-O-M-M-E-R. Can I start over? Mm -hmm. C Commerce. C-O-M-M-E-R-S-E. Commerce. <coughs> that is incorrect. Okay. Commerce. Commerce. C O M M E R C E. Commerce. That is correct. Your word is hallucination. Hallucination. H A L L U C I N A T I O N. Hallucination. First word. <coughs> Oxidation. Oxidation. O X I D A T I O N. Oxidation. Right. Column. Column. C O L U M N. Column. Right. Hooves. Hooves. Can I have the definition, please? Vacancies. Vacancies. V A C A N C I E S. Vacancies. Hoarseness. Can I have a definition, please? <coughs> Hoarseness. It would be the adverb form of the word horse. H O R S E N E S S. Hoarseness. Hoarseness. Can you give me a sentence? You're pretty good at this, Kevin. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was unable to hear the person speaking due to their hoarseness in their voice. Hoarseness. H O A R S E N E S S. Hoarseness. For 
the win. Your word is opponent. Opponent. O P P O N E N T. Opponent. Congratulations, everyone. A round of applause for all our winners. And a round of thanks to our judges, including Mayor Carpenter. I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. O'Connell now. Thank you, everyone. Great job. Great job. I want to say, oh, sure, absolutely, Mayor Carpenter. So, this is my eighth year judging spelling bees now, and I'm, I never cease to be amazed at how, how many bright, intelligent uh, students we have. So it's really important for these guys to go home knowing that everyone here was a winner today. You were a winner by being here to compete in the citywide spelling bee. So it was a really tough competition. I was really feeling for these last two at the end, <laughs> because I'm thinking to myself, this is a lot like being in a debate. So it's one thing to know the material, but it's another thing to be able to come up with it under a lot of pressure and a room full of people looking at you and TV cameras and the guy from the Enterprise taking pictures. And so it's, it's, it's a great learning experience for everyone here to, everyone's gonna be better because of been through this experience today. But I'm incredibly proud of every single student here. Thank you, Mayor Carpenter. That was very well said. Um, we're so pleased to have all of you here. You'll be receiving certificates, special certificates, um, delivered to your school, and I'd like to award the prizes to the top three winners. I'll start first of all with our third place winner, who is Owen Lacara. One of the things that they will take with them is um, a gift certificate to Paperback Junction over in Easton, and she's always very happy to see all of our children come over there. Um, she's proud to see you. We're very proud of all of you. Our second place winner, Enoch. Uh, Once again, thank you for coming to the Little Red Schoolhouse today, and I hope we will see you again in years to come, and enjoy your afternoon. Thanks, everybody. Yay!